Buried with Christ in Baptism You have accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord. Now keep on following him. Plant your roots in Christ and let him be the foundation for your life. Be strong in your faith, just as you were taught, and be grateful. Don't let anyone fool you by using senseless arguments. These arguments may sound wise, but they are only human teachings. They come from the powers of this world and not from Christ. God lives fully in Christ, and you are fully grown because you belong to Christ, who is over every power and authority. Christ has also taken away your selfish desires, just as circumcision removed flesh from the body. And when you were baptized, it was the same as being buried with Christ. Then you were raised to life because you had faith in the power of God who raised Christ from death. You were dead because you were sinful and were not God's people. But God let Christ make you alive when he forgave all our sins. God wiped out the charges that were against us for disobeying the law of Moses. He took them away and nailed them to the cross. There Christ defeated all powers and forces. He let the whole world see them being led away as prisoners when he celebrated his victory. Don't let anyone tell you what you must eat or drink. Don't let them say you must celebrate the new moon festival, the Sabbath or any other festival. These things are only a shadow of what was to come. But Christ is is real. Don't be cheated by people who make a show of acting humble and who worship angels. They brag about seeing visions, but it's all nonsense, because their minds are filled with selfish desires. They are no longer part of Christ, who is the head of the whole body. Christ gives the body its strength, and he uses its joints and muscles to hold it together as it grows by the power of God.